Hey, Mike with Rove Pest Control here. In today's video, I'm gonna be going through how to get rid of carry-on beetles in your home. You know, should they be removed or just left to carry on? So stay tuned. Now, carry-on beetles are pretty interesting and there's a lot that you might not know about them, but one of the main things is that they feed on decaying material. So, uh, interestingly enough though, they do that throughout all stages of life where a lot of insects, they'll have different feeding habits between their larva or their adult stage. Um, you know, an example also might be something like mosquitoes where female mosquitoes usually feed on blood and then males are typically feeding on nectar so again a lot of insects and pests out there have different feeding habits as they go through different stages of life but interestingly with the carrion beetle they basically focus on uh, the same type of diet throughout their whole life. And so again, like I said, that usually consists of decaying things. So that could be um, decaying animal carcasses, skin cells, rotting fruit, uh, anything basically that's rotting or dying or like feces, different things like that. And so typically if you're seeing them in your home, it's because there's some type of food source that they have access to. And one thing that's kind of interesting about these guys as well is that they will be very competitive where they actually will um, end up burying those food sources underground so it's harder for other pests or other insects or other things that feed on decaying matter as well to get access to them. Um, in some scenarios they also even eat like maggots or larva forms of other pests like flies for example. And so again, that increases their, I guess, competitive nature, right? So they'll bury things underground so other flies and pests can't get to the food. And then they'll also sometimes eat uh, those larvae or maggots as well to fend off those and save it all for themselves, right? Um, now again, typically that won't be happening in your home, that competitiveness or bur burying different things like that. But if you are seeing carry-on beetles in your home, that usually means, like I said, there's some type of decaying matter, there's something rotting and they have access to it. So with most pest issues, you really want to focus on proper sanitation where that can come in a couple of factors, you know, cleaning up around your home, making sure that garbages are properly sealed both inside and outside your home. Uh, again, because if you leave garbages open, you have rotting fruit, you have decaying food, you know, compost pile, whatever the case might be, that could attract those pests to feed off of that decaying material around your home. So so again, properly cleaning that up can go a long way to preventing issues. Now again, when it comes to pests in general, there's really three things that they're, they need. That's food, shelter, and water. So if you can eliminate those sources in your home, usually you're going to get rid of these carry-on beetles or any issues with your home with that. Um, some other interesting things you might not know about carry-on beetles is they, they can actually be used uh, to benefit humans in a way that they really speed along kind of the circle of life. You know, if they weren't around, there'd be a lot of decaying material out there, extra feces laying around, because again, that's what they feed on, and so it can help with that decomposition process around the world. So that's kind of cool that they can benefit humans in that way. Another thing that's pretty interesting is that they will actually can aid in forensic science or in murder scenes, uh, kind of in the crime world, right? Where uh, typically what forensic scientists can do is depending on what stage of life cycle these carry-on beetles are in, be it larva, adulthood, whatever the case might be, since again, they feed on decaying material, they can determine basically like the time of death in many situations based on uh, the life cycle of these pests, uh, again, on these dead bodies. You know, a little gruesome, but but it's kind of an interesting thing that they can help out uh, solving crimes as well, which is kind of cool. But uh, again, overall, if you're looking to get rid of these in your home, if you have them, for the most part, they're just doing their job of helping the decomposition process along. So uh, more than often, what's going on is you have some type of rotting material, rotting food, rotting meat, you know, whatever the case might be. So eliminating their food sources 
can eliminate them from your home. But obviously, if you're overrun with them, certainly reach out to a pest control service to have that treated uh, to kill off the ones that are there. But again, usually it's more of a prevention thing and getting rid of their food source, and then they typically tend to leave as well. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you do have pest issues like this in your home, definitely reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com. And then if you happen to be a first time customer with us as well, you can actually go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your name and email there to get access to a $50 discount uh, on your first service with us. So whether you have existing pest issues, you want to set up a, a prevention maintenance program around your home, you know, again, feel free to reach out to us at rovepestcontrol.com. And then once again, to get that great discount as a first time customer, you can head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.